Hey friends and welcome to Roaming Taste Videos. Today we are making a true classic New York Times chocolate chip cookies. Now there are so many chocolate chip cookie recipes in the world, but this one is a classic for a reason. It does have a bit of chill time, so do have some patience, but it's worth it, trust me. Ultimately, these chocolate chip cookies should definitely be included in any cookie box or gifts that you intend to give in cookie form. Um, and I would love to know if you give these a go. So add a comment below, tag me on Instagram at Roaming Taste, subscribe for more videos like this. You'll want to make sure that butter has been out a while and those eggs are also room temperature before you get started on this cookie dough. We'll want to place our butter, our brown sugar and our super fine or caster sugar in a bowl and beat on a medium until super pale and fluffy. So what you'll notice here is that our mixture will go from like this crumbly mixture to after about a minute to a minute and a half of beating, it will then begin to uh, resemble like a nice homogenized mixture, but it's really the extra beating that allows that sugar and butter to really combine well and that sugar to begin to dissolve into the butter, really setting the foundation for our chocolate chip cookies to be like perfect. Once our sugar and butter mix is nice and pale and fluffy, as you see here, we will want to add in one of our two large eggs. If you have medium eggs, you, I'd recommend using three because this is quite a large dough. The approximate gram weight of my egg, my large eggs is usually between like 63 and 68 grams each. So uh, if you have a scale and can measure out your eggs, that would be even more helpful. Now, I always recommend uh, cracking your eggs into a separate container before ever add into your baking, just to make sure you do not ruin any, uh, any baking that you're doing. And so add in that one and combine until nice and smooth. And then we'll want to add in our second egg and our vanilla extract. Now we want to make sure that our eggs are room temperature like our butter because adding cold eggs to room temperature butter like what we've just done with creaming our butter and sugar um, could make that butter curdle and will affect the butter in a format that it like shocks it. So we really want to make sure all of our ingredients are room temperature and um, also the vanilla extract adds a beautiful like depth of flavor to these cookies. Once we have combined those, we want to place the flours, the baking soda, baking powder and salt into a bowl and stir to combine before we add to our creamed mixture. I have made this recipe with only plain flour or only um, bread flour. If you live in the UK, I do recommend using some bread flour because it will help because plain flour is just really incredibly low in protein in comparison with other countries. And so it will make them like softer Then you kind of do want a little bit of crunch in your cookies once they're baked. Add that to your creamed butter mixture and combine on low on your absolute lowest setting until your dough is formed and it looks like crumbly like this but that there's no dry portions remaining in the edges or the base of your bowl add in those chocolate chips or in my case i always use chocolate chunks because the quality of your chocolate and chocolate chips is just not as good as just regular blocks of chocolate you can control your chocolate much better and also um, usually there's like less other ingredients added to traditional chocolate blocks versus chocolate chips so i chose to just cut mine into um, chocolate chip shaped cubes or uh, chunks and uh, it looks you can't even tell when you're like mixing this dough. I mean, is that just not beautiful? 
The original recipe does not suggest you scoop your cookie batter. It just suggests you chill it. I do not agree with this because it makes forming your cookies once it's chilled really difficult. And so it's much easier to scoop up all of your cookie dough and place either on a lined baking tray so that you can really just take them out and get to rolling them and refrigerate for ideally up to 24 hours or in a container that you can cover them um, and then you don't have to worry about shaping them whilst they're cold into equal portions. This cookie scoop size that I used here is approximately like five centimeters or almost two inches, 1.97 inches. So it creates 35 cookies or thereabouts if you don't eat the cookie dough. Um, meaning that you do end up with quite a large batch. Obviously you'd end up with slightly less if you used a bigger scoop or slightly more if you used a smaller one. These are perfect regardless of what size scoop you use. The reason we want to chill our cookie dough is twofold. One, it helps solidify the butter. So it means that our cookies spread slightly less. But also, it allows the gluten some rest time to relax. And it really gives everything time to all of the ingredients time to really come together so that when it is baked, they are a perfect cookie. I cannot stress this enough. These are just a classic for an absolute reason. So once we have scooped everything onto our tray, we want to cover and refrigerate. And then once we are ready to remove from the fridge, ideally 24 hours, I'm going to repeat that again. Um, we will want to preheat our oven to 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We'll want to take, we'll want to remove them from the fridge and give them pr approximately 10 minutes at room temperature if it's, oh, I don't know, Fahrenheit. Um, if it's approximately like around 20 degrees Celsius in your home. Uh, if it's any hotter, I'd give them less time uh, at room temperature. And then we want to smush them between our fingers. This not only helps uh, warm the outsides up, but it also uh, helps us to flatten them because they don't spread too much whilst baking. And then we definitely want to drizzle with a little sea salt because sea salt's just like the best on chocolate chip cookies. Once we are ready to bake them, we will want to place them in the oven and bake for approximately 17 to 18 minutes. So what we'll be looking for when we bake them is that they are beginning to go golden on the edges. They will look slightly inflated in the center, um, like a slight dome shape. If you see there, you might notice it. And then once they cool, they will flatten out more. Um, we could use a larger cookie uh, cutter and scoot around them to give them a nice even shape. And this is something that I always do. If you want to create puddles of chocolate, just lightly tap your chocolate. You don't need to be too forceful here with just a plain butter knife. And that will really help um, get all the melty under chocolate um, out and is creates this like beautiful texture that stays even once your cookies have cooled. Truly do enjoy these with a glass of milk friends. I really hope you love your cookies.